Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. You all know I am a big fan of hand-fed antennas, specifically half-wave hand-fed antennas. But today I'm going to be building a 9 to 1 Ununun, just like this one. Actually, I have two of them. This is called the Urshi, that's how I pronounce it, Ununun. And it's made with a T106-2 toroid. And this is a powdered iron core. Now, I have read in a few places that using actually a ferrite toroid, like the uh, FT140-43, and that's what I use for uh, half-wave and fed transformers, but you can also use it to make 9 to 1 ununs, and uh, I'm going to try that. Now, of course, uh, I need to make another one exactly the same way. So I'm going to make two, one with the T106-2 and the other one with the uh, FT140-43. Presumably, the T106-2 is more efficient on the higher bands and actually the Urshi Unun is supposed to work from 6 meters to 40 meters. Now, the FT140-43 is supposed to work better for the lower bands, but also work well for the upper bands. I got uh, cheap plastic boxes from eBay. Now, normally I use Hammond cases, but uh, money is tight right now, so uh, this will have to do, but the quality isn't very good. I also am going to do something that I haven't done before, is using a ground lug so that I can ground the antenna. And I'm going to do that actually uh, to my future half-wave and fed transformers as well. For that, I got some mini bananas, two millimeters. So this will go to a ground rod, uh, you know, in the ground. <laughs> so to get rid of uh, stray RF currents and uh, possibly uh, static electricity as well. Now, if you do want to know the difference between half-wave and fed antennas using an impedance transformer and random wire antennas for multiband use using an UNUN, uh, I made a video especially for that explaining the differences and I highly suggest that you go check it out. The link is in the description. Here's all the hardware, mini bananas, BNCs, nuts, bolts, washers, wing nut, connectors, or toroids, and a 22 gauge magnet wire. Everything to make a man happy. Down, broke it. Uh, trash. I'm gonna do an intermediate diameter. That's why buying the cheap stuff isn't always cheap. A little drop of Loctite never hurt anyone. Well, that's it for the box. Pretty nice. I remember I said I was going to build two Ununs. Uh, actually, it's going to be one, <laughs> uh, but I already have the uh, powdered iron core uh, Ununun here, so uh, oh, it's still a go. I cut three 20 inch pieces of uh, enameled wire, 50 centimeters long, and uh, we're going to use that for our winding. These wires will be uh, wound tied together. We want them to uh, come out from the top, so I'll go under and over and then I'm going to continue winding this way up to nine turns so let's make sure they don't uh, cross although I'm not sure that's important but uh, it certainly makes it easier to identify them uh, starting is really hard after it gets easier but there we go put some pressure on the inside here two And here I'm going to check again that they're not crossing. Of course they are. It's not easy. <laughs> it gets easier after the first two. Well, slightly. It's easier to put more tension on the wires after the first couple turns.
okay now it gets a little bit easier and we'll go up to nine turns and this is what you should be getting uh, you always count the turns on the inside of the toroid never on the outside so one two three four five six seven eight nine the first thing i'm going to do now is to take the insulation off the tip of the wires if just to identify them and you do that on the uh, six tips now the middle wire here should be the middle wire here so i'm going to test that with the multimeter and it is this wire should be the same as this one good and of course we have this one here everything is fine what I want to do now is to connect this middle wire here to this one. So I'm going to take this one, fold it over, take the middle one here and bring it back and solder them here. So here I take the middle wire, bring it down here. And I'm going to take the one on the right and bring it over like so. They're going to be joined here. So of course I have to cut them and uh, take the insulation off. And this is what it looks like before I solder the wires. Ferrite material is an insulator, so you don't have to worry about the wire touching it. Now this connection should be uh, connected to the uh, middle wire, which is now this one. Yep. Now I'm going to take the uh, leftmost wire here, and I'm going to connect it, twist it together with the middle wire here on the right which is now this one and this is going to go to the center connector of the bnc and of course that leaves us with one wire left here which is going to go to the ground of the bnc this wire here is going to be our antenna connection i'm going to flip it over and it's going to go in the box like this so this will go to the center of the bnc the ground and the antenna connection here. I'll solder my uh, center connector, BNC ground. Okay, so uh, well, that's it. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's going to work just fine. I'm going to uh, hot glue uh, the whole thing. I'm on my last stick of hot glue, so. <laughs> I don't even know if the hardware store is, uh, is, has reopened or not, but um, I need to check that out. But yeah, let's put some uh, hot glue on that. Fortunately, I have a pen here that's the same diameter as the glue sticks. So that's going to allow me to just push the stick inside and make the glue flow. All right, it's not going anywhere. Now I know what you're going to say, <laughs> you should have tested it before you glued it. I know, and you're absolutely right, but I, I just can't help myself. <laughs> so testing will be for the next video. I really encourage you to actually not build it right away <laughs> because I don't know if it works. If you want to make one that works, uh, you know, follow the instructions of the, uh, for the Urshi Unun from the Hawaii uh, Radio Club. Uh, if you want to make one with the uh, FT140-43 like I just did, uh, just wait a bit that I test it first and then we'll see. Have a good one.